Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can make your desktop look clean and professional in under 10 minutes. So let's get right into the video. Now before we start with this video, as you guys can see only 0.5% of you guys is subscribed to my channel. And if you ask me, that's not much. So just please go ahead and do me a favor and once this video is helpful, just consider subscribing because that would really mean a lot to me. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to make look very clean is our taskbar and we can do that by using some software all the links will be provided in the description the first software that we are going to be using is translucent db you can download it from the microsoft store i've already downloaded it so i'm just going to open it up and once you open it up you want to go ahead and head over it into your um, system applications over here and right click on this and here you have some settings now once you hover over desktop you can choose what you want it to look like you can choose it to be normal you can make it look uh blurred you, you it's up to you just choose what you want and there's some other settings i do recommend enabling normal on maximized windows since it looks kind of glitchy when you put it on clear or blurred it's up to you just do what you want just mess with the settings and look what's the best for you and let's get into the next thing so the next thing that we are going to be using is um, center taskbar link will be provided in the description as well so just look for it once you install it center taskbar.x and once you run it just right click on this icon and click scan for screens and there you go that's that's just what it does this centers your icons to the middle and as you can see it already looks way cleaner now this is obviously not enough and the next thing that we are going to be using is rain meter rain meter is a software that allows you to put widgets on your desktop and much more so let's go ahead and take a look at it so link to the software will be provided in the description as well and once you installed it you can go ahead and open it up once you open it up you want to left click on this um, little arrow and left click on rain meter now in here you won't have much so you can install them and you can download them from Google and then install them and then in here you can apply them. So a link to a site where you can find countless amounts of widgets will be provided in the description. Now let me show you guys some of these and the best one in my opinion is this um, analog clock. So once I load this as you can see I have this clock in the middle of my screen. Once I hold the, my left mouse button on the clock, I can move it to wherever I want. Like, but I'm just, I just prefer it in the middle. So let me just put it right here. Then you want to right click on it, click settings and make sure to uh, check save position and uncheck draggable if you think that you place it on the right place. So as you can see now, I cannot move it. Then go ahead and right click it once again go over onto settings and then position and make sure you set this to on desktop because otherwise it will just go over other applications as well and we don't want that we only want it to be on our desktop so just make sure that this is on your desktop and now let's take a look at some other widgets um another one that is pretty nice is fizzbubble this is a audio um visualizer so let's load this one and now let's play some audio for example this um, volume as you can see there's this nice visualizer you can move this visualizer as well to where you want it look i can move it so now it's only a half circle but we can make it a full circle if we play like a song or something so let's just have a look at how that looks so this is a quick preview on how this looks as you can see it moves and it's quite nice and it's up to you where you want this to be so as you can see i can move this i can drag it and once again once you think that you put it in the right place go over onto settings and make sure to click save position and put this on desktop as well okay so that was it for rain meter once you're done you can just close this and it will still continue running in the background so now another way to make your desktop look very clean is by right clicking on your desktop click view and uncheck show desktop icons this will not delete anything you can just 
bring them back by clicking on it once again and there you go you have them back but i prefer this disabled as it looks much cleaner and then you can remove some of these as well by right clicking on your taskbar click taskbar settings scroll down and go over on to select which icons appear on the desk taskbar and here you can disable some like network and volume but i want these enabled then you can go over onto turn system icons on or off here you can and en en enable and disable your clock and stuff like that so now for the last thing is obviously the wallpaper now something that i use personally is wallpaper engine now though this is a paid software so it is a really good software though so i really recommend buying it but once you bought it go ahead and launch it so there you go you now have a moving wallpaper now wallpaper engine offers a lot of wallpapers as you can see this is not even everything this is just my library so this is one of my favorites that is currently applied as you can see it's a nice moving wallpaper okay so there we go that was basically it for today's video if this video was helpful please consider dropping that like button and subscribing because that would really help me out a lot see you guys in the next video peace out